Hi, hello, and welcome to a not depressing hacking video. Oh my god, okay. So, last video, this is kind of a follow-up to that, in a way, because I did it. I did the thing that I wanted to focus on this month, and I wrote a heckin' novel. Okay, that's kind of a lie. I did the 50,000 words required of Nano, <laughs> but 50,000 words is often not a full novel, okay? So... <laughs> I did it. I wrote 50,000 words. I might have kind of hopped between like five, four different projects throughout. However, at the end, I did get stuck on one novel and I am really excited for it. And yeah, so that's what this video is. It's just going to be me babbling about my NaNoWriMo experience a little bit. In other news, because vlogs are a thing, and I discussed I discussed the vlog situation and how I feel like it's cluttering things up, and I do think it's har harming me in the algorithm, because a lot of you here aren't here for vlogs. And all the people who like vlogs, I want you guys to still have vlogs, because I really want to fly- <laughs> I really want to find, like, my vlogging voice, <laughs> and I just- I like having a record of all the things I do. So I have started a vlog channel, and that is above and below in the description and in the little card thing right now. So please follow me on my vlog channel so you can see all our pets and stuff and stop annoying all these people who just want to talk about comics and art. Um, I am going to keep OC's videos here because it seems silly to have that on my vlog channel. Um, and I want to do the OC videos and I want to do more art and I want to do more stuff and I'm feeling way more hyped about all of this stuff. Um, I think December is getting me going real good. Back on topic, NaNoWriMo. Okay, so NaNoWriMo, if you are not aware somehow at this point, though a lot of you aren't, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month, and in November, uh, all you writers, all of you, every single one, are required by law to write 50,000 words, or at least attempt to do so. The last two years, I haven't been able to do it because my cat died one year, and then the following year, I just kind of got depressed about that because it happens the same time any, every year, and I feel I felt kind of in like a little bit of a cycle of just not being able to do the NaNoWriMo thing. And... Man, this nano was arduous. It had its dark moments. It was a freaking plot graph of its own. I came to my lowest point. I was around um, 30,000 words in the last few days of it. And I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to do this. I like, I'm not strong enough. Every past year, I've gotten kind of to the 30,000 word mark. And then I'm like, I'm, I'm stuck. I, ca I can't do this. But this year, I was able to push through, and I wrote like 3,000 words a day for the last few days, and I got done on the 50th, the 50th, the 50th of November. I finished. I added more days to November, but I, I did it. No, um, I got, I got it done on the 30th, and I was feeling very powerful, and I'm feeling very strong. And at the same time, I feel like I'm not challenging myself enough, which is stupid, because I clearly was very challenged. But by next year... I really want to write a hundred third. I really want to do a hundred thousand word nano. Like all my friends have done this thing. It's like my new challenge. It's my new golden gleaming dream child thing of the future. And I want to do it. So that's my plan is I want to flex my writing muscles. And next November, I want to write a hundred thousand words. I probably shouldn't vlog while I do this, but maybe if I did, you know, now that I'm free of nano, I'm like, I can freaking do anything. <laughs> but clearly, heckin' monster of an idea. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens in November. But anyways, that is my plan. Let's talk a little less about the future, more about the current future, the, the, the new future. Like, what am I doing now that I have finished my novel? And what is my novels even about? I said I did five, so please, Bones, tell me about them. Okay, so my current plan is, like, I have started up a brand new secret NaNoWriMo goal of doing 50,000 more words this December because I really want to finish the book that I am working on, and I'm on a roll, and... I've always had this really bad problem where I drop things halfway through and leave them and, and never come back to them ever. Um, so 
now that I'm on a roll and I feel like the book that I'm working on, I can really get through it pretty easily. I have all of it basically outlined, outlined being a generous term for um, RPing. I have RPed this before. Um, so yeah, I think I can actually get it done. I think it's going to probably be around 100,000 to 150,000 words. So I'm going to need a third NaNoWriMo session to do it. But if I have to, I will do NaNoWriMo three months in a row to finish this project because I'm I'm feeling really jazzed. This is obviously going to die at some point, but you know, like, let me dream. Let me dream and let me make bad decisions, guys. You know, doing 100 days in a row, how would that hurt me at all? That's never hurt me. Doing 90 days of writing, what are you talking about? Uh, I, I have no recollection of anything like that. Um, definitely not going to do a video every day because that would be ridiculous. Why would anyone ever do that, Bones? Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry that this is so rambly. I'm excited. Um, anyways, uh, what am I saying? Um, yeah, so I really want to finish this novel. I think that I can do it. Um, so what did I write this this fine nano? So <laughs> if some of, some of you are aware of this book... Um, but I have this book series, series, trilogy thing called The Books of Avo, and it is a 1920s inspired fantasy story about there's like, there's a dragon, and there is a landlady, and there is an elf, and so the elf lives in the landlady's house, and she has royally messed up the uh the uh, apartment entirely with her elf magic stuff and so the landlady tries to kick her out ends up kind of cursed because this is a bone story and in order to undo all this she kind of ends up in this huge mess of a plot which involves rewriting the uh rewriting the laws of the universe in order to stop a dark god from rising and uh destroying all that is and ever was so that's what that story is about hella gay uh because again this is a bone story it's gonna be cursed it's gonna be gay and it's gonna be the other thing i i said maybe it was all well, maybe it was cursed but anyways that's that story and i have been working on that story since i was 12 um <laughs> it is a monstrous beast it is uh something unspeakable um it includes my favorite character lul whiteheart who some of you again probably have heard about him in passing he is my my son he is a bad boy and where am i going with this so anyways this this story i was planning on writing i was in the middle of uh editing draft five of the current iteration of avo and when nano hit i was like i should write this and then it was like the day before i was like well it's kind of hard to keep track of editing during nanowrimo and i want to write something new and fresh so i was like i'm gonna write book two and i got all amped write book two and then nanowrimo happened i was like nah i don't want to write book two at all because i am bones and if you tell me to do a thing i am not going to do that thing i'm going to do the exact opposite of that flipping thing so instead of that i opened up a, a beautiful draft of my lovely comic project that i'm working on so i have a secret comic project that i'm not telling anyone about because you guys are gonna be like Bones, you never finish any of your comics. I'm like, yeah, I know, but like, this is different. I can finish this one. It's not all Ursula. So I have a, I have a comic that is a collaborative piece. I don't think I'm supposed to announce this or anything, but it has more to do. It, there, there are more people involved with it than uh, me and Ursula. Um, Ursula will be penciling this story. I am writing it, and then someone else will be inking, and someone else will be uh, coloring it in theory, if this ever finishes. Um, and it is a medieval story. It's some, the way I would describe it is, you know how I wrote the magpie and pretty mouth and you know how I wrote nine point. It's like both of them together. It's the intersections of those things. And it's some intersections with other things we like, such as vampires and werewolves. It's basically medieval vampire and werewolves. And there's the plague and it has demons and tons and tons of lesbians 
and it is beautiful and gorgeous and I have been stumped on this story. It's like been taking me forever. So I sat down to write that on day one and I did really well. And I did absolutely fabulously. I think I got to like uh, the end of volume one with it. And unfortunately, with comics, that was like 5,000 words, like maybe 10,000 words. I'm like 10,000 words into this thing. And I am running out of steam because after writing a single volume in the course of like a week, my brain is like mush. Okay, I, I decide, you know what? You know the heck what? I shouldn't continue on this. I should probably do something else because I finished the volume and now that I'm going into volume two, I feel like I should like, like look back on things like with a fresh eye later. So I close that and I'm like, well, heck, what do I do for NaNoWriMo now? And I'm looking at Avo and Avo's looking at me like, please write me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read through every single novel I've written and and dropped at this point because there is a lot. I have a huge novel graveyard per se um and I tend to write about 10,000 to 20,000 words before I just drop novels and just and just it's just something that I do I like to write the beginnings of things and then I'm like eh, I'm bored of this so I go through my novel graveyard and I'm reading through all of it and I'm like wow not really into this not really into that and then I read my last year's nano novel which was not finished um it's about 30,000 words or so and I was like you know what I'm feeling this I read through all of it and I was kind of hype and so I wrote a bunch of that um that was like what made up the rest of the the words I made there and then I got bored of that moreover I got stuck I got pretty stuck I'm writing a part where they're in a maze and I literally got stuck in the maze with them I can see my dog outside and she's digging. So she's going to go into the kennel after this to dry her little muddy paws off. Anyways, so I, I, I write that. That's my uh, uh, an, another novel. I've talked about it before. It's really hard to explain. It's kind of a very weird bones concept of a story. It's called Boneless, which I realize is going to be funny because it's going to be called like Boneless by Bones. Because that's my name. Um, yeah, anyway, so I wrote that. And that, that went all right. And then I got stuck again. And I'm like, oh my god. And I look at Avo. And Avo looks at me. And I'm like, okay, fine, Avo. I'll write some of you. So I sat down. And I wrote like two scenes of Avo. And I was like, oh my god, I am not feeling this. So I put Avo away. I'm like, well, I'm not going to be able to do this. I can't get through NaNoWriMo. Like, I'm terrible. Like, I just, there's nothing that appeals to me. And I'm just thinking about like, all sorts of things that I would rather be writing and that I'd rather be RPing. Because when I RP, I got freaking self-indulgent. I do all my tropes. I do like 50,000 curses and I don't even care what people think of me. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just write something like that? So I'm trying to think up something like that. And I'm like, you know what? What if I just write an RP? Because I love translating RPs because there's already an outline, but like... It was fun to do, and I also get to, like, change things because RPs are so, like, flabby and weird. And I just, I have, like, plot ideas and the general arc of a story, but it's all a complete mess, so I have so much room to work with. And I was like, you know what? That's what I'll do. I'm going to write some furries, and I'm going to write some heckin' fairies, and I'm going to blow my own mind, and I'm going to write my favorite characters. And I had a great time doing that, and I don't want to stop. So the story I ended up writing was the Four Fairy Kingdoms RP, super secret, not secret anymore. If you're not familiar with it, I'll link to our playlist of all the things. And since I am making it a novel now, you might not even want to listen to those things because they're going to be super spoilerific to what happens. So do what may. Um, I am going to change a lot of things and the RPs left off on a cliffhanger so I'm really excited to write that and just flesh it out more and I've been having so much fun writing it I love all of the characters that being said there's a lot of freaking characters and I'm sure I'm gonna have to make cuts in the end but I'm just having a great wonderful self-indulgent fun writing time with this and you know, that's something I just really needed to do for myself. I needed to get out get out of my own butthole about all of this heckin' garbage, right? Because I'm too busy trying to write the new Honeywalls or the new, uh, not even the new Avo. I, 
I've always pretty self-indulgent, but it's just been with me so long that it's a little less fun. But yeah, like I'm really excited. I've been really enjoying writing that and I was able to get to 50,000 words. She is so digging right now. Oh my God, she is digging a huge hole in the yard. Oh Lord, she's she's going to have to have a bath and she's going to be sad. and She's not going to put two and two together because she keeps digging holes. Anyways, so that's what I did. And I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, I have lots of plans in my mind, ideas about what to do on this channel again. And I really hope that you enjoy. And please check out my blog vlog channel if that's something you're interested in, or even like slightly interested. Like, please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get to the thousand subscriber threshold because that's like where you get all the YouTube goodies. Um, so yeah, it's exciting and I'm having a good time and I'm all pepped up and I'm amped and I'm going to write 50,000 more words, theoretically, <laughs> but, but for real, I, I'm probably going to just get bored and drop it. But what if I didn't? What if I actually, what if I actually finished this? I, I, I feel really confident because I got past the 25,000, 25, 20,000 word threshold. And usually at that point, I just finish the novel. So let's see if I can power through this again. And thank you so much for believing in me and all your sweet comments on the last video where I cried. Um, I was mostly just sad about my cat. I just thought about my cat and I'm like, oh man, this still makes me sad. Heck. So there you go. Now it is now it is freedom hour for Bones McKay. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Or maybe Ursula will. She'll probably see you in the next video. She has to make her card. Oh, freaking holiday cards okay we are making holiday cards we have seven gift raffles of all sorts of fun original artwork and stories and all of all of the lovely things okay and if you want them all you got to do is draw some fan art like i don't care if it's colored i don't care if you do it on a little sketch pad paper anything is an entry and everyone who enters gets a holiday card okay so Please enter and join. There's only been like four submissions, so you have a pretty good chance of getting it, uh, of getting one of the prizes. So please, if you like our stuff, go ahead and do that and heck and get you some some free stuff. It's free. I mean, I guess art costs your time, but it's basically free. And uh, it's due by December 15th. That's when we're going to be doing the big old draw. So don't miss out on that. Blah, 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 blah. Goodbye. I am Bones McKay.